Let's just um, try and bring our mind to the same place our body is and let's just settle. As I close my eyes, all I can see is the, the water from the ferry as I was going into the city. And I'm still kind of rocking from side to side. Anyway. So, you know, however it is you're turning up this evening, just uh, know that that's okay. And then check your body. You want to be nice and aligned. Make sure the feet, if the feet are on the ground, make sure they're in a parallel position. If your legs are crossed in the regular meditation posture, you can raise your knees slightly if they're tight. Hip, the sit bones are raised. This also helps with the alignment of the spine. Shoulders are over the hips. Hands in the meditation mudra, right hand nestled in the left with the thumbs touching. And just imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. You can just imagine there's someone above you very gently just lengthening your spine. So you're just letting all those muscles along the spine just sort of lengthen, untangle. You just grow a little bit taller. And the head is very slightly tipped forward, the eyes are down looking along the length of the nose, tip of the tongue is on the roof of the mouth. And just relax the jaw. Bring your awareness to the crown of the head and release any tension there. And the forehead, the eyes, back of the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the area around the mouth, the jaw. Bring your attention to the back of the head, particularly at the base of the skull. Relax the scalp and the ears and the jaw again and the temples. And then if you're holding any tension in the back of the neck, just release that. Allow the shoulders to drop down shoulder blades to drop down and at the same time you're still lengthening the spine and relax the throat the chest the belly the limbs hands fingers and feet and toes and bring the mind to the breath just noticing the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling And then just notice your sounds in your environment. You can probably hear the crickets here. They're quite loud. We're having a heat wave coming. And then just very gently bring your mind back to the breath and just allow those sounds to fade into the background. And then notice the mind, what's arising, what feelings, thoughts. And again, without judgment, just observe them. And no, it's okay. Try not to criticize your thoughts, have opinions about them. and know that they'll change. So we just put ourselves on the bank of our river, watching that river flow by like an objective observer with curiosity and interest, but without getting involved. And that way we're free from the river. So let's bring to mind again all those people of our life. 
the friends, the ones you love, who care for you, who support you. And then there's those people in your life you have some difficulty with. And then there's strangers. And today I spent a little bit of time with maybe 50 or 100 strangers at my oath ceremony. Everyone had probably a fascinating and interesting story in their journey. But I don't know any of them. I probably will never see any of them ever again. They were very briefly in my life. So just imagine though, at any time, this friend, the enemy and the stranger could change place. And then maybe they did in your life already. Maybe they did this year. So I think we'll do this meditation, this purification practice this evening for the benefit of all these people of our life and by extension all sentient beings. So just remembering there is no negativity that we that cannot be purified. It's very important to remember that and I think it was one of the things that when I first did this meditation with prisoners in I think it must have been as early as 2006 the look of relief on their face was like it was so moving because it was something that they could do that they weren't just kind of like the trash of society. So this meditation was very helpful for them. So we create negativity with our mind, but we equally can create positivity with our mind. We can actually change it. So first we come to the power of regret. And as I've been saying, that regretting something is a, it's just kind of like a very grown up way of taking responsibility and it implies that we're actually going to try and do something about it. So sincere regret from the depths of your heart, anything you've done to harm any living being on this day, in this life and in all past lives, and think of specific actions of both your body and your speech, and then gen in general regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. So we experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. So having harmed others, we're going to necessarily experience suffering in the future. We know from our present suffering, we don't really want any more. So logically, it makes sense to remove the karmic seeds <coughs> Excuse me, before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, broken my vows because I'm sick of suffering. I, I do not want any more of this suffering. So regret our delusions, our anger, attachment, depression, and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others, and then think again, I'm sick of this suffering. So think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. So we rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, the doctor, who has the methods we can use to purify. And it's not that we are asking Buddha to forgive us, so it's not, it's not like that. It's not like asking some higher power to come and take our badness away. You know, it's, not, it's nothing like that. We are looking for a way to do this work ourselves, to heal ourselves. So we're using Vajrasattva's methods. So imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. You can also imagine this is your teacher, your guru, your trusted mentor manifesting in this form for your benefit. And he's made of radiant, blissful white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. And although born out of mud, this lotus is untainted by it. So just like our enlightened potential, which is born out of our delusions, but is untainted by them. So Vajrasattva's face is radiant and beautiful. His eyes are long, so they're long horizontally, and shaped like lotus petals. They're very peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. And has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. He's wearing the five-pointed crown on his head 
and on his body are silk, silken scarves and harem pants and uh, he's wearing jewellery around his, uh, all over his body, around his ears and waist, around his neck and on his arms and um, wrists and feet and ankles. And all the, the material is of the robes is celestial silk. Again, this is all made of light. He has an aura of light around his head and around his crown. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And there being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I am enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings. So the very beings we have harmed, and those who have harmed us, by developing compassion for them. So think of someone you've harmed recently, and develop a sense, a wish for them to be free from suffering, and then someone who's harmed you. And then a little bit more difficult, but just just to remind ourselves the suffering they've caused us is going to manifest for them in the future at some point, maybe in a different form. So have compassion for them because of that. And so now we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the medicine doing the practice, visualization and mantra recitation. So Vajrasattva will start with the body, very compassionately sends powerful white nectar like coming out of a hose very forcefully from his heart. And it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower offices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid. And this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasattva Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawa Siti Mepi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajrasattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasattva Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Bawa sawa siri mempi yatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita dida me bawa sitokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa anarakta me bawa sawa siri mempi yatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama Mamimutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dido Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yasa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mamimutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dido Mebowa, Sutokaya Mebowa, Sipokaya Mebowa, Anorecta Mebowa, Sawa Siddhi, Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa, Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe, Um Vajra Safa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajra Safa Dina Patita, Dido Mebowa, Sutokaya Mebowa, Sipokaya Mebowa, Anorecta Mebowa, Sawa Siddhi, Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Um Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dido Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anorecta Mebowa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum so be delighted that all the harm you have ever done to anybody with your body, any sentient being with your body, is now completely purified. And think, 
There is no way you can do anything other than benefit others now with your body. So the next is the purification of speech. And Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra. And it arcs around and forcefully enters your crown, filling your entire body. Except this time, forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech. And this overflows quite forcefully and disappears into space, not one item left. So just imagine all the gossip and any harsh speech and kind of careless, useless speech and lying, talking badly about others behind their backs and getting other people to agree with you. All of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Tita Mebalwa Sitokaya Mebalwa Sipokaya Mebalwa Anarakta Mebalwa Sawasidi Mimpiyata Sawakama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satva Ahum Pe Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Tita Mebalwa Sitokaya Mebalwa Sipokaya Mebalwa Anarakta Mebalwa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satva Ahum Pe Ambadra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Drida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satva Ahum Pe Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satva Ahum Pe Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sitokaya Mebawa, Sipokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Triam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra Ahum Pe, Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya, Vajra Safa Dina Patita, Jida Mebawa, Sitokaya Mebawa, Sipokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Triam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satva Ahum Pe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satva Ahum Pe Again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified. So really try and imagine what that would be like. And imagine it's not possible to do anything but ben- benefit others now with your speech. So the next is a purification of the mind. And Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra. And this arcs around and enters your crown and fills you completely. So it's just the same as when you walk into a pitch black room and you switch on a light. Uh, light instantly dispels the darkness. So it's the same here. As soon as the light from Vajrasattva's heart touches your heart, it, it instantly dispels the darkness of the negativity of your mind. So all the depression and anger and anxiety and bitterness and grudges and jealousy and disappointments and irritations, all of this instantly eradicated by this light and this mantra. Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Jida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satva Ahum Pe Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Jida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa 
sawa sidi min piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabala maha samaya sattva a hum pe um vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita dhidu me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anurakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe um vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita dhida me bawa sutokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa anurakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Um Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Duda Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Sipokaya Me Bawa Anurakta Me Bawa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Um Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Duda Me Bawa Sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, anurakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe, um vajra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dina patita, dudu me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, anurakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe so again be delighted that all your delusions which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech are totally purified and think now there is no space in your heart for anything but love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion so next is a purification of the imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. And this time imagine that Vajrasattva sends light and nectar and it fills you completely and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind. So but you can do that by imagining, perhaps you can recite a couple of mantras each and then think of the visualizations we did for the body, the speech and the mind. Or maybe just imagine light and nectar pouring, pouring into you as we recite the mantra. Um Bhadra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Yuda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Um Bhadra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Yuda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimbi Yato Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutta Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Um Bhadra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Duda Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Sipokaya Me Bawa Anurakta Me Bawa Sawa Sidi Mimbi Yato Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutta Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Um Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Duda Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Sipokaya Me Bawa Anurakta Me Bawa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutta Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Um Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Duda Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Sipokaya me boa, Anurakta me boa, Sawa Sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama me mutta Vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe, Um Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita, Duda me boa, Sutokaya me boa, Sipokaya me boa, Anurakta me boa, Sawa Sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutta Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pei 
Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawasidi Mimpiyato Sawakama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe So now I feel you are just completely purified. Not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been removed. And so next is the power of resolve. And this is the fourth step in the purification process. And this is just really crucial. This is kind of the other part of regret. It's this determination to not harm. To kind of determination to get on top of our habits. To change the way we think about things. So without this determination, we're going to keep doing the, following the same old patterns, getting involved in the same old habits over and over again. So this kind of aspiration, this wish to not harm, is like a, a beacon that guides us, our body, our speech and our mind. So think of something you want to work on between now and tomorrow. Maybe it's uh, something to do with the speech or something to do with... Maybe you eat too many chocolate chip cookies. I mean, who knows? We all have different things. So just think about, and also to what level you want to work on that. Do you want to work on it for an hour, like a couple of minutes within a 24-hour period, overnight while you're sleeping? So something that's doable for you. Not like a New Year's Eve promise where we say, oh, I'm never going to do this again. And then two days later... So we just give ourselves a reasonable timeline. And this determination to not do again, or not to do, or to refrain from, is what gives us strength to change, bit by bit, slowly, slowly. Vajrasattva is delighted with us, wanting to merge with your mind, melts into light, white light, and absorbs into you through your crown. And think, my guru's body, speech, and mind, and Vajrasattva's body, speech, and mind, and my own body, speech, and mind, are the same thing, and Lamayeshi calls this union, used to call this union oneness. Now, Lamaza Primashe recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creative negative karma, there is no action of creating negative karma, and there is no negative karma created. So, at whatever level you understand emptiness, place your mind there for a little while. So, we think of all phenomena as being empty, they do not exist from their own side. And you can also imagine that perhaps the way things are appearing to me right now might not necessarily be the way they actually exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created during this purification to all living beings and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. Of His Holiness the Dalai Lama the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind, Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Zoparimbashe, you who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplishes magnificent prayers, honoring the three jewels, savor of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. And for Lama Ursul, Venerable One, to you whose kindness succeeds out of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And for Geshe Shara, a beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Okay, everybody. Oh, I just wanted to let everyone know, does everyone remember No Stephanie, who sometimes comes? So she was involved in a car accident, and so she, she did post on Facebook, she posted her car and that she was in hospital with concussion. So just keep her in your prayers. I'm sure we'll see her as soon as she's feeling well enough. But I'll send her a message and see how she's doing. But I just wanted to let you guys know. Okay. Lots of love, everybody. Sweet dreams. And thank you so much. Lovely to see you all. Thanks for hosting, Shayla. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Good night. So Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.